This has been really special to just kind of reconnect and do what brought us together in the first place. Yeah, this is pretty surreal for me. Uh, Boys are back, oh, eh? I'm just gonna go ahead and just give them a reason to hate out. Put me in, coach! Put me in! Oh my goodness, the Christmas episode! This Christmas episode is something that the next step has wanted to do for a long time. I never episode. thought in a million years that we would be able to do like a seasonal type episode. The fact that we got to do it and everyone came back. And the fact for that it. everyone showed up. Perfect. Uh, we are. Nothing, this is, you know, usual. All the phones are being loud. Excuse me. Can you please take it down a notch? No, Miss Kate's back. Whoa. Miss Kate's Whoa. back. Everyone right run. Back in the building. Yeah. I'm the one in charge. Wow. This is how it goes. But, like, you sold the place, so now. <laughs> We're back and we're so excited to be here. I don't know about you guys, but it's crazy to be yeah, back so in studio A with everybody. But it's so much fun. It's like one giant reunion. Yeah. Yo, what up, everybody? Christmas episode. The boys are back, bro. Check it. The boys are back, eh? Oh, hey? yo. What it is. Nice it. Hey. Y'all don't want these flips. Y'all don't want these flips. Might just smash chandelier. You never know. It's. So awesome to have all the OGs back. I mean, I don't remember the last time that we were all together, so this is pretty exciting stuff. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little weird being on set again of the next step. As soon as I walked into Studio A, I was like, whoa, this is a blast from the past. I'm so excited to be back for this big, long two episode special with the OGs finally back. Um, it's been a crazy experience. It's very nostalgic sitting in this room right now. It felt so weird to have everyone in the same room, like, Probably like the last time. You yeah. Know? It, it was just weird because all of us haven't been in the same room for like four years. I think it's funny. I, so we do do actually do as real people who play characters on the next step a Christmas reunion. Probably every we other usually year. do. Yeah. Oh we yeah, do. we do. But it was a weird feeling being back in the studio, in the studio, in the studio, in like costumes a, as in our costumes, characters, as our characters. It was a really weird. Feeling, but really fun here. So it's really cool to see everyone because it's been like, like so long since we've seen anyone, especially me. Like, I haven't seen some people since like season four. And I'm so grateful that I was able to be a part of it in the way that I did. Piper has been through a lot of the studio. This is pretty surreal for me. Like, I haven't met all of the original Next Step cast, so this is super fun. This was such a fun and happy day. It's Christmas in the middle of August. <laughs> Chill, it's August. My birthday's in two days then. It's August. Really? It's August. It's Christmas, bro. It's tough. Oh. My wife's the fourth. Oh, oh my God. crazy. Hey, so we're here. So today we're doing the Christmas episode. Look at all my presents. Every single one is for me. And then you're also blurry, so what? And what? Again? Say that again. You're a little clear now, but still, you're still blurry. Yep, oh my gosh, look at my bodyguards back there. The Nutcrackers. Oh yeah, some good stuff. Just stay tuned throughout the day and we're gonna see how this Christmas episode goes. I'm, I'm really into the Christmas spirit right now. I also have cold and this normally happens during Christmas anyway, so like, we're really, really fitting in. I like tie dye, babe. It's very festive. I like it. I love Christmas, it's my favorite holiday of the year. So, yeah, it's <laughs> I end up actually getting a cinnamon bun candle from Kingston. Go ahead, enjoy. I, I, I don't want to spoil your fun. Ah, it's an avocado! Was it you? Was it you? No, no. Guys, guys, guys. It's the secret Santa, not a telling Santa. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one we got. Sorry, Piper, I thought... I'm sorry, Piper, I don't know how we could have missed you. After all these things keep happening to her, like one thing after another, it starts to be really, like really heavy for her. And when I wrote down in my script, I think there were like seven things that really hit her hard and made her realize like, I really don't matter, really don't matter. So by the time she gets to the locker room and before she says her line about how she wishes she never came to the next step, She's just reflecting on all these things in just a matter of like, I don't know, 20 minutes that have gone wrong that make her feel like she does not matter at all. And so her wish comes true and she wakes up and... Giselle? <laughs> no, I'm not Giselle. I'm your guide through your granted wish. What wish? The wish about you not coming to the studio. Fairy Giselle takes her throughout the next steep, shows her Miss Angela's troupe. <laughs> Here. What? 
Yep, summer goes too high. You can't see him fiddling so hard, it looks like their eyes might pop out. Really, the flashiest of them all makes it look easy. I can't stand seriously. How long have you been there doing this? Is that a real fall? That's not attached to anything, is it? Yeah, it is. Like it. Yeah, they're this they're, is up, why they're she upstairs can't sit chilling and uh, whatever. Yeah, you didn't even say bye. <laughs> she got hung up on. <laughs> Pyro, do you get it? Pyro, do you get it? What? Pacific? Ocean? Really ocean? Really? Liam, Liam, do you want me to Please get Joni on line 2. Joni on line 2. Get me her on line 2, please. I'm on a phone call. Um, I don't know how I can help, but... Can you um, please get Melissa? Uh, Melissa who? Melissa on line who, 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 three, please. Who, who, who. <laughs> She's the boss. Watch out. I'm the boss. Watch out, brother. <laughs> brother. <laughs> That's what happens when we're waiting for the scene to start and everyone's sitting around. I get all tired and antsy, so I wanna, I wanna do stuff, you know. So I started improv. Sue me, Amy. Where's Ozzy? Where's Michelle? Is she sick or something? She, she never misses age rehearsal. Let's start. Oh. Wow. Great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. See. <gasps> okay, so we're Shazi. Let's talk about this. I've always been a shipper, okay? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we are Shazi. We're, <laughs> we're coming through. We're making an appearance. Whoa, 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 whoa. Michelle and Ozzy are together? Freeze. Our shell's not bad. Yeah. But yes, you could catch a little Christmas episode. For Shazi, our shell is happening. Don't let Miss Angela catch you dance so well. No. Nope. Don't let Miss Angela. Hey, for Shell and Ozzy, just think of it as you're living in the apocalypse. Okay? Like, you've kind of found each other, it's but this is like. When we go to the next scene and I see the OGs come in, but in the alternate universe, the lines that they had and how they were playing it, it was just so funny. And I had to be serious and like, what, what is happening? But it was so hard not to laugh. Oh, and also just straight kudos to our costume people because Isaac Lupian yes. as Electric Elden. Oh my was My favorite gosh. outfit ever. We start down at the bottom oh. with the uh, 12 inch thick no? okay. biker boots. And we work our way up to the slim cut full body suit of, of sparkly material. This uh, exquisite um, two hole punch belt. We have something that was uh, custom made for me with chains, a leather strap, and a wallet with a brooch on it. We have like this neck thing that yes is very scratchy. And then all of this. Dude. In Piper's alternate reality, keep in mind that this is Piper's perspective, right? So she sees Elfie in the real time as someone who is almost evil. So in this alternate reality... People hate Elfie. Let's give them a reason to hate Elfie. Jimbo! Great to see you. <gasps> oh, clumsy me. You'll take care of that, won't you? It sucks. Uh, it's uh, it's awesome. I, I really love I love playing Alfie this way because like Alfie's not like real Alfie is not really a bad guy. You know what I mean? He just happened to walk into the wrong situation. But um, this Alfie, this Alfie is evil. He's not very nice. Let's put it that way. Ozzy's sitting in that chair. Where's Rochelle? And Rochelle's sitting with him in that chair. What? <laughs> There's so many of you here. This is a table for four. <laughs> is that too much? One of my favorite scenes was in the next deep when all the next step cast, most of the cast, had to come back from Miss Angela's dance class. Right, it's the first time I've seen uh, it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, to Atrium. 
uh, take Studio A. And of course they're like, who are you? And it was so weird to let that sink in, all those eyes on me. And they have no idea who I am. I've got to do the whole, you clean it off. Yeah. It kind of swung. Yeah. I have a Punch hibiscus punch, but I'm ready to have it. Apparent litter is just overflowing. I'll show up Yeah, thanks. Bye, guys. Yeah. <laughs> See you, Mama Okay. The duet for the Christmas episode, Pipes and I, um, was a lot of fun. Yeah. Actually, it was. Really... It's fun because I like was not a dancer at all. No. We were literally like starting from. I scratch. was like molding her. Yeah. To become a dancer, it was fun because uh, we didn't. It, there was like set moves. Like I, we had like slight yeah. rehearsals to prepare for it. But it was still loose. It was still right? loose. Yeah. And like we didn't really rehearse it, it on it. the day of. We just yeah. kind of made it natural and just like feel. Feel as Actually, possible. I was so grateful because it was a full day. Like I was just doing scene after scene, and I was starting to get tired. It was near the end of the day. Like it was a long day already. And he came in. He had so much energy, and, and it really helped me. I'd come Thank back you. from a nap, so. <laughs> he was like full, like into it and ready to go, and that made me feel so much better about the dance. And we did it in like it, two takes. Yeah. It was just so natural and just so much fun. I'm kind of surprised that Finn's taking me seriously, but I guess I shouldn't be. Every time someone tells him a knock-knock joke, he always goes to answer the door. I think it's so sweet, no matter what alternate universe Finn and Piper are in, they always find each other. Yeah. You know, like, they're, they're always... Um, they're for each other. They're for each other. Piper, Piper, Piper. Piper, Piper, wake up. You're not in a Miss Angeles TNS uniform. Why would I wear those? Those are uglier than a Christmas sweater. <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> nope, wrong side. You're telling me that Miss Angela... Freeze! Where? I was literally your job as manager. What, to make sure that we make tips? Yeah. Well, I've been busy trying to fix the machine because it hasn't been working for all the Okay, customers. and I've been busy cleaning. Well, maybe you should help me and stop doing that and stop paying people You to... just told me to do this! Yeah, because I didn't know that you paid him to fix the espresso machine. Seems like something a manager should know. How am I supposed to know that? Hmm? You're both fired. <laughs> <laughs> I adore that storyline. I think it's really sweet. Uh -huh. And I also, I just love when Emily and Michelle work in whatever the, oh, I know. whatever that place is called. <laughs> honestly, like I probably, I like the Victoria. It's a really fun storyline. We yeah. never get to do it. I anything. honestly like, love this. Yeah. I feel like a different character yeah, doing exactly. this. Yeah. Um, but as Michelle and Emily, obviously we hate it and we've been up fighting for like it because of it. Yeah. So bickering each other all the time. Because we really spend every day, all night, all day together. So it's yeah. like. We so we're definitely still game. friends, but we're uh, uh, very, we're like, very tight. Tight friendship with yeah. Michelle. Sure. Walking on tightrope. Yeah, sure. It's not very Christmas spirit of you, Michelle. I'll reconsider, but for now. Well, no, but it's, it's You're not this thing's working. Okay. Can I see his Is that a good I mean, I don't know. Like, sure. I always think you should be able to oh, say well. okay. uh, Maybe I'll say, okay, the <laughs> be like, Emily. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Um, that definitely has no copyrights attached to it. <laughs> oh, it was a nice little throwback when I got Michelle and Emily to teach me how to do a pirouette because that was season six, which was two years ago. They were helping me dance again and realized that I love dance, so to give back to them, even though they weren't really realizing it, Piper was sneaky like that. She got in there and like, Hey, do you want to maybe have one last hurrah in Studio A? It's locked. Check. I don't know. Hey, I really want please one of don't. these. Please don't. I can't hear you complain about it all night. Please. No. Yeah. I must be a millionaire at this point. Look how many keys I got. Yeah. How many doors I got open? I'm rich. You crazy as janitor. Hey, guys. Yo, we back. OG episode. You know what to do. Hey. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, T-Money. You can call me T-Rag. No. Out here on the set. Thanks for tuning into my vlog. You know how we do. <laughs> Just acting in tanks. You know what I'm saying? Emily's like, yo, James, teach me how to backflip. I'm like, yeah, I remember my first time trying to do a backflip. <laughs> Guys, we see you 
So we did a scene in the office where I make her realize, look, like you have to love dance. This is a team that you're gonna fall in love with. And it was so emotional. So, um, okay, this was not supposed to be emotional at all. Like that wasn't intentional, but like, uh, um, so Piper says like, you know, at this studio, you're gonna meet your best friends. You're gonna fall in love and like, you're gonna make a family. And like, I don't know, I guess like, oh no, I'm gonna get emotional. I'm thinking in real life, like I can't imagine a next step experience without Shelby. Like she's always been there for me. Alex is like my best friend and we literally have grown up together on this show. It was really fun to take from my real experience and really tell Amy, look, you need to be here. You know, here you're gonna meet your best friends and actually like in real life, in real world, I met my best friends on this show and if it wasn't for the next step, then like I wouldn't have my friends, if that makes sense. That's worth way more than any solo. <laughs> no, I to bring okay. So like even just reading the lines and practicing before we got the cameras out, it was emotional. Like we were tearing up. So it just like it really hit the spot. Although I had to be like a mean girl, I really just wanted to like tear <laughs> with Alex because yeah, I mean it's it's real, right? And in those moments that's when it's so cool and why acting is so cool because those are the real moments and that's it's the genuine truth that we find in each scene. The night before we started filming these scenes. I just breathed and I was like, wow, I am so grateful to be in this situation where I get to be part of a show that I watched as a kid and was a huge fan of and be in scenes with these people that I looked up to, still look up to, and, and be like the main character in this Christmas uh, two episode. Why can't I get this right? So it was just unbelievable for me like I really couldn't grasp it and I thought like pinch me I'm dreamy I still feel like I'm dreamy like if you told me five years ago that I would even be on the next episode, let alone like be part of this Christmas series I I would have not believed you at all so it was so cool and I think that sunk in even more for me when we were doing the group scenes with the OG cast I would look back at them because there was a few scenes where I had to like look back and just appreciate the fact that I got them to dance again and I was like oh my gosh how lucky am I? I get to do this. I'm like, those people are so talented and amazing and I just, I get to be part of this. I get to work with them. I, I'm still just in shock of the fact that I'm here and that I get to be part of this. What I really like about this episode in general and the whole message about it is that like, even if you think you don't matter, you do. And even the little things that you do have a huge impact on somebody else's life. And you may not realize it until you wish that you never came to the next step and all these things have to happen and you see how different everyone's life is without you, but really, you matter to people. Like, no matter how big or small your impact is, you make a difference in people's lives. So don't forget that, because Piper did, and she had to go through this whole alternate universe to realize it. And also, we did like close-up hand shots of the list. And how lucky am I? I didn't even think about this, it just kind of happened. I got my nails done the day before we started filming. The, the close-up hand shots, so perfect. I had new nails, nice cuticles, moisturized cuticles. It was great. I was very happy about that. This um, is the behind the scenes content that I'm here for. <laughs>